Hello my friends, welcome to Forex with KS. So today is 14th January 2022. So today uh, we got a, we are seeing a small rebound on the, on the USD. So let's check out the chart shortly. Check out the disclaimer first. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, good morning everyone. Before we start, don't forget to support the channel. Support the channel. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Okay, so let's check out the news. See what's going on with the calendar. Okay, let's see. Yesterday we got a... Uh, not a good, very good unemployment claim from the USD. PPI number so so not above expectation. So uh, thirty year bond auction a bit better uh, better than expected. So let's see today or oh, today this one is important. Call retail sales right. We have to check whether this uh, data comes out stronger or uh, below expectation. If if this data come out stronger right, we it will be a good uh. A good sign for the USD and also this uh, prelim, preliminary UOM consumer sentiment, right? These two you have to watch out. If this, all this data comes out positive, right? If we stronger, if we good for the USD. Okay, so let's check out the chart. So Euro USD, Euro USD, we are having a, a pin bar over here. Now the price is moving up after the pin bar. So this one, right, uh, our bias line, yes, I moved the bias line actually down to here, 1.13753. So we do have a pin bar. Mm, let me see, do we want to buy, do we want to sell this? Mm, I don't think we want to sell this, okay, because this is not at, at a very obvious uh, su support resistance line, which is here. And uh, in between, it's in between this uh, res support line and this resistance line. So this one probably we are not going to do anything here for now. Uh, let's see. We we would prefer to continue to buy this. Okay, to buy this or uh, any rejection here. Any rejection here. Okay, at a one point one three seven five three, we are possible we want to continue buy continue to buy this. Let's look at pound USD. Okay, pound USD price has went above, went above a bias line. Now the bias line actually I, I marked with two dotted lines. Okay, so this is my bias line. Initially I use a lot of uh, uh, arrow. Now I want to cut out, <laughs> make it more simpler. So this is our bias line price be, price stay below this line. We are selling price above this line, so we are buying. So this one we are still looking for buy opportunity. No doubt we got a pin bar over here. There's possible retracement over here. So possible we want to wait for retracement towards a one point one. 1.36140 for buy opportunity over here. USD CHF, USD CHF, uh, uh, price broke below this trend line. Okay, it looks like uh, also it was a triangle, right? I draw a triangle here now. I just monitor using the trend line. So we, we got another, we got winning trade over here. I just erase it first. Don't want to have too many, too much. Uh, uh, these uh, these uh, arrows. Okay, we to focus on these arrows now. Now the price is below our bias line, so we are looking to sell this. Okay, any retracement towards zero point nine one six eight two, we are looking for sell opportunity. USD cat, USD cat. Okay, the bias line is here one point two six four one three. Now the price is below this one, but we do have a very positive sign over here, a pin bar over here, a very beautiful pin bar over here at support. Okay, so there is a possible trade over here, no doubt. Okay, our bias is down, but we do have enough gap. Okay, enough gap to uh to, to execute a buy trade. Okay, we got enough gap to execute buy trade. So there is a possible buy trade on this pin bar today on the USD can. And also if you take a look at this right. 
Okay, we got a we, we, we got a confluence of a channel. Channel bottom over here. So USD cat is a possible trade over here. You, you, you know. Okay, so this is a confluence. These are possible. There's a trade over here for USD cat. A buy opportunity here. Uh towards this one. Towards 1.26413. AUD USD. AUD USD uh uptrend in play. Uptrend in play, but there is a possible buy trade also over here. You look at here, right? You got channel over here. There's a channel over here. So now uh okay. now price getting rebound at the uh, rejected at the top channel here. So there is a possible sell trade over here. So this one possible you can uh post there's a possible uh, sell trade towards 0 0.7173. Okay, if we get rebound, uh, uh, a rebound from 0 0.7173, we want to buy also. So there is a two trade, possible two trade coming in over here. New Zealand dollar USD, New Zealand dollar USD. Uh, this, uh, this is a better trade because the price is still below our bias line, right? This our bias line means above is buy, below is sell. So now it's, it got rejected exactly the bias line. So this is a possible sell trade over here. Okay, a sell trade over here. Uh, let me see where would the target be. I get will be somewhere around here. Let me see. Okay. I get will be somewhere around here. 0 0.6799. Okay. Around here. And uh, Bigly Myers also is selling itself. Uh, okay. Or UD USD. Bigly Myers also is sell. Okay. So there is a possible sell trade over here for AUD USD. A possible sell trade. Uh, and uh, because we got enough room to play. Similar, this one also possible sell trade because weekly also is a sell. Euro AUD, Euro AD weekly is buy. So we are still looking. We are looking for buy over here. So what kind of price section do we have? Let me see what kind of price section do we have. Uh, mm, this one not very clear price section. Okay, this, not, this is not a very clear price section. It's a reversal price section. So there's a probably buy trade over here. Once, one point seven five three three nine. Okay, possible buy trade over here. Look for a possible uh, a, a positive price, a bullish price action. Euro cat. Okay, Euro cat at the bottom channel rebound. So there is a possible buy opportunity over here. But the long term, we are looking for sell this one. Mm, let me see. Uh, okay, so this one better. We look for sell. Okay, if you buy here, it's okay. But you buy now, it's too late. Okay, buy now is too late. The price already almost uh, top on its way to the resistance. So we are looking for a sell here. 1.44344. Euro Swiss franc. Euro Swiss franc, we are looking for a, uh, let me see, uh, downtrend. So we are looking for sell opportunity. Well, this pin bar is too small for us to sell. So that, but then we got a bearish engulfing candle. We got a retracement. So uh, there's a possible sell trade over here, 1.04491. Okay, a rejection over here, there's a possible sell trade. Euro JPY. Euro JPY, let me see. Euro JPY possible. Oh, this is a bit sideways. Hmm. Euro JPY, the price is struggling here. This one, wait and see. The price is struggling here. I'm not too keen to do anything with this. Uh, uh, this one wait and see. Euro pound, Euro pound, Euro pound actually, Euro pound actually got stuck at this channel. There's a channel over here. So it got stuck at this channel uh, uh, bottom. So most likely it will it will reverse up. Okay, most likely it will reverse reverse up. So we are still looking for sell opportunity over here. So if it reverse up towards 0 0.8378 sell opportunity, 0 0.8426 also sell opportunity. We are looking for sell this one. Pound JPY. Okay, pound JPY looks like it's having trouble here. Okay, having trouble to go through this uh, 158039, this uh, this resistant area. So price is moving backwards now. Uh, we are looking to buy this. So there is uh we are looking to buy this, so we are looking for the retracement to buy. Okay, we are looking for retracement to buy over here. 1.156.166 and uh, 
154.034 this area for buy opportunity pound chf pound chf you are looking to buy this uh, let me see uh, okay possible bullish price action at 124 1.24653 okay there's a possible buy opportunity if we get a bullish price action here there's a possible buy opportunity over here aud jpy aud jpy uh price has gone a bit price has stuck a bit over here so we don't see anything any opportunity now to execute any buy trade possible wait for the price to drop around this area 82.11 82.112 for buy opportunity AUD cat AUD cat is uh our buy sign is here so we are selling AUD cat the long term weekly also is a uh, uh, buyers for weekly also is the downtrend so probably this one we want to uh, execute a sell trade over here 0 0.91311 okay you've got a bearish price section over here there is a possible sell trades over here UD and safety I'm not trading this go okay go is you see go go are just two two sideways to trade I'm not trading this uh, the SPI 200, SPI 200 is uh, uh the price is zigzag over here. So uh, also this one inconsistent, okay, inconsistent over here. So I'm not trading this also. Dex, Dex. Uh, let me see what are we doing here. Hmm. Possible wait for the price to come back to this area. Our bias line, bias line should be. Let me see. Uh, Is you are uptrend, so we are still buying this. The bias line most likely is, is like here. Here is a bias line. Okay, so this one we are looking to buy, we are looking for buy opportunity. Maybe here bias line. Okay, buy opportunity. So once if the price come back to uh to test one one seven five point three zero uh one seven five three zero point four three possible buy opportunity over here. But I'm not too keen to create the index because index uh, uh, is getting hammered by the Fed, you know, the Fed policy, all these things. So the in index is going crazy. Uh, you see the you know, NASDAQ is dropping again. So NASDAQ uh, looks like breaking from the from this channel. You see, you've got a very strong uptrend channel here. Looks like breaking down from the channel. This one, wait and see. We're not trading this yet. Possibly this one you want to sell. The next price action, right? Maybe you want to sell here. If it comes back to here, rejection 15677. 15676, right? Our bigly also is uh, bearish. So once the price come back here, retest 15676.21, we want to sell. Now I think I want to change my bias for this uh, NASDAQ to sell. Okay. Dow Jones. Dow Jones, we got two pin bar over here, but the price also got two tail over here. So, uh, we are still looking to buy for Dow Jones. We are still looking to buy. So, uh, okay, wait for this a rebound at three five six four one for buy opportunity. S and P, S and P is also coming back down. So let me see S and P. So, bias line should be around here. Okay, so this one we are still waiting to buy this waiting to buy this at around this area and this area put this area first four six four six three two okay if it goes above below four six three two then possibly we might want to start to sell this we might want to start to sell this we might want to start to sell this Okay, so that's it for today. So uh, see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, today is Friday, right? 14 of January, right? So tomorrow, Saturday, we got our, our weekly weekly analysis. So don't forget, okay, to follow my channel, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, like, subscribe, and share. Okay, see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.